tonight on Lost Gear. I take a hit, park illegally, and roll a rally car. Last year around this time we took a brief look at the history of rallying when we looked at the Lampadati Tropos Rally, the Obi Omnis, Vapid GB200 and the Calico GTF. Now let's let the past rest for a bit as we will be looking at modern rally cars today. Our competitors in this episode are the Grotti Brioso RA that we already tested in our beginner's race car test, the Weenie Easy Sport and the Vapid Flash GT. First of all, let's look at the cars and their prices. The Brioso RA as a compact isn't that expensive with $155,000. Honestly, I'm not too sure whether this one can keep up with the other two as it's just a lot smaller and not that powerful, but let's wait and see. The EZ Sport might look harmless in the beginning as it still is a weenie, but it has a lot under its bonnet. That also shows in its price. $897,000 for that one. And now for the biggest of these three, the Vapid Flash GT. That one is a whopping $1,675,000 and I highly suspect that this price is highly unjustified. Now looking at these cars, they are a little disappointing, aren't they? Just a shadow of what rally cars used to be. Compare the massive, sporty and powerful monsters of the 70s and 80s with these three and that gives you kind of the mindset of your parents. Everything was better in the past. Of course, people died in these cars because they were too brutal for rushing through unpaved roads in the forest, but hey, the cars look nice, right? Better not question our nostalgia or people might even realize that Magni Co is worse for Formula 1 racing than Paul Ricard. Although the Easy Sport and Flash GT are in the sports class, don't let them fool you that they are still originating from compacts or hatches. That makes them pretty useful in everyday use. They are very sporty and powerful, but not as huge as a Pariah or Itali GTO for example, so parking Los Santos is a lot easier. And yet, because they are so small, you have the perfect excuse for not helping your friends move to their new flat. You know, I'd really like to help you, but I can only take this interestingly looking flower pot with me. Waking up after a very good night's rest, we sit in another rally car all of a sudden. And this one is a modern classic, the Karin Sultan RS Classic. This car and its distinct livery is one of the first that comes to mind if you think about rally cars. And since this one wasn't in our earlier rally car test, Let's let it compete against the other three today. First, let's take these four to Rayton Canyon to see which one beats this tricky and twisty rally stage the fastest. And here we are on the Rayton Canyon rally. On the top left you see the Brioso RA, top right it's the uh, Easy Sport, bottom left a uh, Flash GT and bottom right the Sultan RS. Classic. Let's turn off the radio once again because we don't want to get copyright striked and the first bit is uh, pretty much a flat out bit so let's see who is fastest there. It seems like the Flash GT very fast through that bit but and we already can see that as soon as it gets gets a little more twisty uh, the Easy Sport has caught up a lot. Um, the Vapid Flash GT pretty wild through that bit. Uh, the Sultan RS Classic is a little hard to tame through here because the brakes are not as good as the ones uh, on the Easy Sport and the Flash GT I have to say. The Easy Sport really smoothly going through here. It is really really good in these uh, in these conditions which is a huge surprise. It's really enjoyable to use the Easy Sport uh, through here. Um, well the Brioso RA it's fine, but it's awfully slow, so um, you can already see that. Look how far behind uh, it is, uh, the Brioso RA. And, well, I think it will be pretty close between the Easy Sport and the Flash GT. Sultan RS Classic also not too far behind, so despite uh, the brakes, it is still performing alright. So with better brakes, the RS Classic would 
really be uh, uh, a great competitor here and even without them it is and now on towards the last bit and it I think it looks like the easy sport will just finish ahead of the rapid flash GT now this is the last bit rapid flash GT um, losing the backhand a little bit there uh, it was harder to tame than the easy sport uh, but still very very fast so easy sport wins ahead of the flash GT then the RS classic and then the Brioso RA and I have prepared an off-road timesheet as well so we can compare these times uh, to the ones uh, from the last uh, rally uh, car test with the classic rally cars and a huge surprise for me is that uh, the Easy Sport, Flash GT and Sultan RS Classic beat all of the cars we have seen last time. The Brioso RA slowest which is the huge surprise um, but wow the Easy Sport and Flash GT I would have never thought uh, that they would beat the Tropos Rally um, and uh, the other ones from the last video so huge huge surprise for me and from the rally stage to the racetrack let's see who is fastest on our Ford Zancudo test track and here we are on the Ford Zancudo test track on the top left it's the Brioso RA once again then top right Easy Sport bottom left Flash GT and bottom right Sultan RS Classic and off we go now the last time we have seen uh, with the um, retro rally cars that the performance off-road and uh, on the track and the finishing order was quite different from well the one from the off-road carters let's see how it is here and if the easy sport can keep up with the great results well we can already see what we have seen in the off-road car test in terms of top speed the easy sport isn't as good as the flash gt and the rs classic but once again as soon as we get to a bit with a lot more corners that is a lot more technical the easy sport really catches up and i think uh, well together with the rs classic it has taken the lead so these two are really intensely battling i think the uh, Easy Sport now slightly ahead of the Sultan RS Classic, but now um, we have a bit that is a little bit uh, more top speed, um, where top speed is more important. But I think the Easy Sport can just keep it ahead of the Sultan RS Classic to win that test as well. Flash GT this time is a little bit off uh, the other two. Um, kind of a disappointment, but well, once again, as suspected, the Brioso RA just a lot slower than the other three. Well, and where does this put those four cars on the Lost Gear Hall of Fame? No surprises, no changes at the front page. We have to go all the way down to the fourth page to see the Easy Sport sitting in 29th. And this is a huge surprise, not far off some of the best sports cars, or some of the faster sports cars. Let's not say the best sports cars, some of the faster sports cars, uh, like the Neon, Neo, Jugular and 8 of Drafter. Sultan Aris Classic just behind uh, the Easy Sport. Uh, then we have to skip another page uh, to find the Flash GT sitting in 41st with a 112.86 ahead of the Comet Retro Custom we saw in the last video and then well it's a huge gap to the Brioso RA which is almost 10 seconds slower um, which sits just ahead of the Stinger GT in 73rd. And what do we take from that? Small but powerful compacts are immensely underrated. And on that wisdom, we end our show. Thank you so much for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe and check out the Lost Gear playlist if you want to see more. Also, don't forget to leave a comment with which cars you want to see next. Until then, goodbye.